students now we are going to see the essay or of local anesthetics most of the local anesthetics are divided into two main classes one is ester type local anesthetics another one another one is my type local anesthetics these ester type local anesthetics are developed from cocaine and are considered as derivatives of benzoic acid whereas the my type local anesthetics are developed from isogramin and are considered as derivatives of aniline so this one is developed from cocaine and this one is developed from isogramin but both have the general formula that is it is having three parts one is the aryl group and this and no that may be amino alkyl group both are connected by means of a linker so what are the three parts present here aryl group amino alkyl group both are connected by means of a linker this aryl group no that can be otherwise called as aromatic group so that would be the lipophilic ring so that is the lipophilic region or a hydrophobic region that may be substituted so what about this aryl that is a lipophilic ring or lip or lipophilic region or hydrophobic region and that may be substituted now come to the linker so here a linker of various links that contains either an amide or ester so the linker no the link may be varied but it is having an amide or an ester this is otherwise called as a connecting group or a intermediate chain now come to the third one that is the amino alkyl group that is usually a tertiary amine with a pka that is between 7.5 to 9 but it is a hydrophilic region so this would be the lipophilic region this would be the hydrophilic region both are connected by means of a linker that is the connecting group that is the intermediate chain that may be a May may be having amide or ester. Now we are going to see the first one that is the aryl ring, that is the aromatic ring. So what is the use of this aryl ring? Already we have seen, you know, that may be responsible for the lipophilic properties. That's why uh, that is called as a lipophilic region or a hydrophobic region. so this adds lipophilicity to the molecule that helps the molecule to penetrate through the biological membranes it has uh, direct contact with the local anesthetic binding site on the sodium channel already we have seen no it has a direct contact with the local anesthetic binding site on the sodium channel so the exact amino acid involved in binding depends upon the sodium channel and the state of the sodium channel state means either that may be opened or closed if it is closed that may be active or inactive so depending upon the state of the sodium channel so that would be varying and uh, this one this aromatic ring interacts with the local anesthetic binding site in a pi pi interaction or a pi cation interaction with the s6 domain of alpha component of sodium channel already we have seen no uh, that uh, seen about that interaction that is pi cation interaction uh, that is the alpha subunit is having four domains in that domains the s6 s6 segment no that is having phenyl alanine that is uh, binding with this one so already we have seen this point so it interacts with this aromatic ring interacts with the local anesthetic binding site which part of a local anesthetic binding site that is alpha subunit of this s6 segment that is having phenyl alanine that one is binding with that to form a pi pi interaction or a pi cation interaction if you have substituents on the aromatic ring that may increase the lipophilic nature of the aromatic ring so if you have substituents what happens the lipophilic nature would be increased the lipophilic substituents increase the ability of the molecule to penetrate the nerve membranes and increase the affinity at the receptor site the lipophilic substituents and electron donating substituents in the para position of the ester type local anesthetics increase the anesthetic activity so when the anesthetic activity would be increased the aromatic ring is having lipophilic substituents or electron donating substituents the anesthetic activity would be increased the examples for electron donating groups would be alkoxy group or amino group or alkyl amino group so if uh, if they are present in the aromatic ring they create a uh, resonance effect between the carbonyl group and the ring that results in the shift of electron from the ring to the carbonyl oxygen as the electronic cloud around the oxygen is increased so the affinity of the molecule with the receptor is increased that's why the local anesthetic activity would be increased so 
if the aromatic ring is having lipophilic substituents or electron donating substituents, the anesthetic activity would be increased. That is, the local anesthetic activity would be increased. Now, we are going to see three examples. One is uh, propoxycaine, procaine and tetracaine. Uh, propoxycaine, no? so this is the structure of propoxycaine that is having two substituents. One is the alkoxy substituent, another one is amino substituent. Um, for procaine, it is having only amino substituent. It is not having that alkoxy substituent. Now, come to tetracaine. That tetracaine is having alkyl amino substituent. So, the introduction of a propoxycaine, that introduction of propoxy group at, uh, at ortho position in pro, uh, propoxycaine makes the ester hydrolysis difficult as compared to procaine. That's why uh, this is having longer duration of action. You see the two structures and this is the structure of procaine, this is the structure of propoxycaine. While comparing these two, this propoxycaine is having extra one propoxy group that is extra alkoxy group. What is the use of this alkoxy group? Here we have ester, no? Both are having ester. But because of uh, this uh, alkoxy group, the ester hydrolysis should be difficult. So, it makes the ester hydrolysis difficult while comparing with procaine. That's why propoxycaine has longer duration of action. So, this homolog series increase the partition coefficients with increasing the number of carbon atoms. So, maximum activity is uh, shown by 4 carbons or 5 carbons or 6 carbons like tetracaine or cyclomethicaine. Now, see the structure of tetracaine that is having 4 carbons. So, that would be like C4, C5 or C6. When the aromatic ring is having electron withdrawing substituents, already we have seen for electron donating substituents. If it is having electron withdrawing substituents like NO2 or Cl, the electron cloud around the carbonyl is decreased and the anesthetic activity also would be decreased. So, if it is having electron donating groups, the anesthetic activity would be increased. If it is having electron withdrawing group, the anesthetic activity would be decreased. So, introduction of electron withdrawing chloro group in ortho position of procaine that is in chlorprocaine, it makes the ester bond more susceptible to hydrolysis. Therefore, the chlorprocaine has a shorter duration of action. So, here we are comparing two drugs. One is procaine, another one is chlorprocaine. While comparing with procaine, chlorprocaine is having extra chlorine. Chlorine is an electron withdrawing group. Because of the presence of this electron withdrawing group, it makes the ester bond more susceptible to hydrolysis. That's why it has a shorter duration of action. Now, we are going to see for ester type local anesthetics. It is having aryl group, no, that may be directly attached to the carbonyl moiety or through a vinyl group. This direct attachment of aryl ring to the carbonyl moiety is known to increase the local anesthetic activity. So, if you want to increase the local anesthetic activity, this aryl group may be directly attached to the carbonyl moiety. This aryl group may be either aryl aliphatic or aryl alicyclic. Presence of aryl vinyl radical or alkaline between the aryl radical and the carbonyl moiety result in inefficient compounds. So, the aryl group should be directly attached to the carbonyl moiety. There should not be aryl vinyl radical or alkaline between these two. If we have this, we are getting ineffective compound. Now, come to amide type local anesthetics. The aryl moiety must be 2,6-dimethylphenyl. For this, it may be 2,6-dimethylphenyl. That is the aryl with two methyl groups. That is attached through an NH group to the sp2 carbon atom of this C double bond X. So, the methyl group, already we have seen you know, where the methyls are at second and sixth positions. That is ortho and para position present on the aryl moiety increases the local anesthetic activity. Now, come to the second one that is the linker that would be the connecting group that is the intermediate group that is that may be an ester or amide. So, the linker is usually an ester or amide along with the hydrophobic chain of the various links. When the number of the carbon atom in the linker is increased, the lipid solubility, protein binding, duration of action and toxicity would be increased. So, if the number of carbon would be increased, what all would be increased finally? Lipid solubility, protein binding, duration of action and also the toxicity that also would be increased. 
already we have seen the linker may be an amide or ester this esters and amides no these are bio isosteres what is meant by bio isosteres they are having similar size shape and electronic structure that is both have the similar binding properties and usually differ only in the stability in vivo and in vitro for molecules that differ at the linker functional group that is uh, it is an amide or ester means amides are more stable than esters and they have longer half lives than esters so which would be the more stable one amide is the more stable one and that is having longer half lives than esters the plasma protein binding may be more prevalent for amide anesthetics and contributing to increased half life so the nature of the substituents on the aromatic ring can affect the electronic nature of the linker and can contribute to the drug's potency and stability they also give a steric block to protect the linker from the metabolism so the binding affinity and the stability of the anesthetic molecule is affected by the linker and functional group on the aromatic ring in general the ester groups are more susceptible to hydrolysis than amide functional groups because of the prevalence of esterases in the blood and liver because the blood and liver is having esterase enzyme because of the presence of that enzyme the ester groups are more susceptible to hydrolysis the first ester type local anesthetic that was synthesized is procaine in the year 1905 what is the main metabolite of ester type local anesthetics that is paba that is para amino benzoic acid that is responsible for allergic reactions caused by the ester type local anesthetics so what is the main metabolite of uh, ester type local anesthetics that is paba so that is responsible for allergic reactions caused by this type local anesthetics third one is the amino alkyl group that is otherwise called as hydrophilic region or hydrophilic portion it plays a role in helping the movement of the drug to the cell and gives the binding of drug to its receptor it may be tertiary or secondary amine but tertiary amines are more preferred as they are less irritating to the tissues so what is the nature of that amine that may be tertiary or secondary but which would be preferred tertiary would be preferred because it is a less irritating to tissues substitution uh, substitution with the more number of carbon atoms increases the partition coefficient and increases the local anesthetic activity the no membranes are generally lipoidal in nature so an increase in the lipophilic character enhances the penetration of local anesthetic into the membrane but decreases the solubility of the drug into the extracellular and intracellular fluids so an increase in the hydrophilic portion of local anesthetics decreases the drug penetration into the membrane hence local anesthetic should have equal balance of both lipophilic and hydrophilic centers so both should be equal there should be a balance between lipophilic and hydrophilic centers binding of the local anesthetics to plasma and tissue proteins is due to the presence of van der waals forces dipole dipole attractions and electrostatic attractions so compounds having high potency and longer duration of action tend to bind strongly to the plasma and tissue proteins so different enantiomers of local anesthetics exhibit differences in terms of the selectivity and toxicity the activity and duration of action of local anesthetics depends on their stability so hydrolysis reaction explains about the stability of both ester and amide type local anesthetics already we have seen individual drugs as if it is an ester hydrolysis the presence of electron withdrawing groups in second position renders the ester group susceptible to hydrolysis already we have seen two examples no procaine and chlorprocaine so that is the example for this one thus chlorprocaine has a shorter duration of action than propoxycaine in which the presence of electron donating group makes the ester hydrolysis difficult so here they are comparing chlorprocaine with propoxycaine so thus thus propoxycaine has a longer duration of action than chlorprocaine because propoxycaine is having propoxy group whereas chlorprocaine is having chlorine group that's why propoxycaine has a longer duration of action than chlorprocaine now we'll see the amide hydrolysis the amides are more stable and exhibit longer duration of action than 
ester type local anesthetics because amides are more resistant to hydrolysis. In amides, xylidide ion acts as a poor leaving group than diethyl amino ethyl oxide group that causes the hydrolysis to occur. So, this would be the main metabolite for amides that, that is called xylidide ion. So, that's all about the SAR of local anesthetics.